Now we are joined by travel expert Ed Finn, and we're thrilled to have him back. And today, I'm very excited because Ed is going to bring us on those beautiful, luxurious train journeys, Ed, aren't you? All yes. over the world. Second yes, way. guys. It's great. It's, a, it's, the, it's such a great way to travel, you know? And especially when you're going around Europe. I mean, just phenomenal stuff. Mm. Now, I suppose the famous one that we would, you know, that everybody would have heard of, we're starting off today, was the, the Orient Express. Yeah. Mm. And that's pretty amazing. Um, now, to travel on that one, I suppose, would be the most expensive. Um, and it goes from London. Uh, the, the one, the most, the popular one would be the London to Venice. Okay. But it's absolutely fantastic. So you get on in London, you go down, the, uh, you take the Pullman, the British Pullman. Look at this. And then they take you, uh, they bus you on luxury coaches across the channel. And then you pick up the Orient Express, the proper Orient Express. Yeah. And then you go over the Brenner Pass, over the Dolomites. And it's just amazing. Now the food, of course, the service on board you'll see there is just second to none. Yeah. It and really the cabins is. and all that, I mean, it would be kind of, I'm saying basic, you know, because these are old kind of things. Obviously yeah, they're done yeah. up well. And then by, like during the day, it, they have it done up like beautiful, like lovely sofas and it's oh, gorgeous. Oh, I see, they change it into And then at night the they change room. it in, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh. And of course you have the most beautiful le leisurely lunches and dinners and, you know, you meet people reading Death on the Nile, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you have to be out of the Christie or you can't yeah, go on. Absolutely. Is yeah. it expensive then, is it? It is, yeah. I mean, look, I, I was looking there at the prices it's about 2995 per person now you're talking that's just for like, your two days you know that's two, two days. days yeah oh yeah, yeah. that's just the London to you Venice. know what I'd like to do is the <laughs> so it's, it's pricey yeah, like, you know? that and don't, that's if you're a single away. it's the same yeah so I mean that is you know it's not it's okay. not but it is an incredible thing to do you, do you know, know what I was going to ask really you there good. I would say I'd love to do the Siberian one but now I'm not going to even ask <laughs> you because that probably cost about 10 grand no I mean to be surprised because we're going to touch on the blue train there now that would be the most expensive one you know um, okay. The other one, like we would be looking at um, the Swiss trains, right? Let's yeah. have a look at those because Switzerland, I suppose, really is incredible. Oh, look at that. The Bernina Express and the Glacier Express, lads, that would be now, I mean, one of the most beautiful trains you'll ever do. Now, Switzerland is incredible. They have a thing called the Swiss Travel Pass, and you can actually buy a three or four day pass for about 182. Um, are yeah. 200 euros and then first though, class you can up for another hundred yeah, yeah. you can okay. upgrade now i did this one now uh, yeah. a number of years ago and it was amazing but it was just their regular trains yeah, yeah. and yeah. i went to this uh, this french lausanne the french Beautiful. speaking part then yeah. up to zurich then down to lugano the italian speaking part Beautiful. And, yeah. so it is lovely and even their regular trains you know to eat and everything are really lovely. oh they're fantastic mm. i mean listen you can do i mean you can do any of the trains in switzerland are really good this is the, these ones are really, I suppose, your famous iconic ones that a lot of, like the Bernina, because that takes in the Italian, mm -hmm. and then the Glacier Express, Glacier Express, which is Lovely the Zermatt, yeah. going about San Moritz, you That's know, amazing. Glitzy. Does it bring you back to where you started, or do you have to get on at one point and not at another point? No, you get on in one and you get yeah, off, off at another, another yeah. Right, and then, but, yeah. but I mean, you know, I, I, what I did was the last time I did it, I got the train back as well. I mean, yeah. I, spe I spent a night, I think it was in San Moritz, which was very glitzy Lovely. altogether. Oh, yeah, it is nice. Expensive enough yeah. now. You oh, know? It is, yeah. Yeah. Down but to South Africa. They go through the mountains and everything. Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. As you yeah. said, the Brenner Pass, the, the, the scenery is unsurpassed. Yeah, it's it just is. beautiful. Yeah. Now, South Africa, guys, this is really something special. Uh, when I lived in Cape Town, I mean, we did this one from Cape Town to Pretoria. Yes. And this is really good. Now, it's about 895 euros. This includes all your drinks and even Havana cigars, right? Oh, so if you yeah. fancy the old cigar, right? Mm -hmm. This is absolutely brilliant. And how long is that journey? Hands on. It's it's about two days. Two okay. days. Yeah. But again, you see Kimberley. Right? I mean, it's it's two nights more, right? So okay. you, like you leave you leave probably. at four o'clock, we'll say, and then. Um, you, you know, kind of leisurely, and then you get in like two days, three days later, you get into Pretoria in the morning about 10 30. Yeah. But you go through the most incredible, it's like you go through different countries, like the Karoo. Yeah. Here you'll see, I mean, the famous Kimberley, you know, the famous yeah. Kimberley Mines, yeah, the, big, yeah. the famous hole in Kimberley mm -hmm. there. But this, the scenery is stunning, and this is so hands on. I mean, you literally don't do a thing for the whole you trip. Love again, this. I love that this is again making your lovely cab or your, your your carriage into a bed at night time and it's all that sort this of thing. This, this, this is where the kids are left at home, I'd imagine. Yeah, though. yeah, you have the kids in Cape Town with your sister <laughs> or your brother or whatever, you know. Reminder. Yeah, somewhere. But no, I mean, this wouldn't, you wouldn't get, you would get some kids on it. You won't get a lot of kids on these, yeah. you know, yeah. but yeah. a beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, this is the one I really want to do. Yeah. This is, oh. 
This is incredible. The Rocky Mountaineer. Mm. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. And now with all the flights we have with their Lingus and everything mm. to Seattle, mm -hmm. Vancouver, you know. This one I was recommending there. Oh or the one scared there. Oh, I love that. The one there I recommend, right? The Vancouver to Lake Louise. It's amazing. Now, just to give you an idea of prices, right? This again would be a sort of price. Now, there's a pack, Canadian Sky do a package of seven nights, including all your flights and hotels in different places, Banff and stuff, and two, three days with the train for 2709. Now, that's everything okay. included. Mm -hmm. yeah. The train itself, you're talking about two day packages from about 1173 per person. So, you know, it's not, not mad money either. What I was like. saying to you earlier, yeah. but the Orient Express is really up there in up terms there. of price, right? Mm -hmm. So these ones aren't really that bad. But ca ca the Canadian Rockies and what you see here, Lake Louise, oh, Banff, stunning. Cow Loops, you know, this is just, like, again, your kind of mind boggling kind of well, stuff, you know? It's kind of that once Beautiful. in a lifetime well, that's experience. It, that's it. I guess yeah. that's, that's the way you look it. at it. It's like oh, people yeah. that actually sail, you know, to somewhere amazing on some cruise to the Big Arctic cruise, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah but this it's is once this in is a lifetime. It. And the trains, the Rocky Mountaineer, it's it's all glass. It's almost mm. like you're not I on a train there, at all. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. just so comfortable. You know, something more affordable, maybe Eurorail. Yes. Now we're talking, right? Eurorail is absolutely brilliant. Now they have been going from strength to strength, guys, right? They've over 300,000 trips sold last year. And what's really amazing about this is, right, the most popular ones, just to give you an idea, um, Vienna, most popular cities like Vienna, Hamburg, Berlin, Prague, Budapest. And the, the number top five countries with the Eurorail would be Switzerland, Germany, Spain, the Netherlands, Italy and the UK. And again, from 185 euros, you're talking four days for a four wow. day pass. Wow, that's good. And it really is good. Now, the Interrail one, <clears throat> sorry, guys, the, from 12 to 27 would be your sort of age. Imagine, mm. like, even starting that well, year. Everyone did for a bit Interrail, Interrail yeah. years ago, yeah. And for this year, they're adding Estonia and Latvia to the actual yeah. number but you're of talking about train only here now you're not sleeping on no them. no, no you're talking I mean. you like basically you get that, more, yeah. absolutely yeah. You're going, like this yeah. is just getting around europe yeah. uh, the, the is there food included no no, no, no this no, is only no. the travel this no, is just the no, train no, no, okay. no, no. Yeah. sandwiches you have to break your but own sandwiches but, <laughs> no. you but get the trains are fabulous it's brilliant and listen the switzerland one alone i mean you know i was saying to you there i mean the people love it it's really really cool a fantastic way to get around up to norway yeah, now this is, I did this train last year, right, from Oslo to Bergen. It is incredible. You go over you the are. mountains, right? Yeah, I actually took this, this is my little this phone is, video is, myself. This is, right? this is Ed working This was in June. <laughs> in this June? Was in June, you see, so the, the snow, because you literally go up over the mountains and you come down mm. into Bergen. Now, if you remember your geography in school, guys, remember the Hanseatic League, remember all that stuff mm -hmm. with the geography? Sounds Bergen used to be the capital of that, so it was the big, big center for like economy and it's for like trade. Nice. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. But this is really, Norway, if you haven't done it, this I is an amazing Oslo, way. That's all. This train is only 22 euro in standard class and it's it's only tw okay. 31 quid. Now you're, in a country, now, now you're talking all Seriously. Style, yeah. And in a country um, where a pint costs about 12 euro. Yeah, this is the cheapest thing you'll ever get in Norway. 199 <laughs> crowns is the price. Diesel is cheaper than the, It's like about 10 yeah. oh, diesel, euro to the crown. It, yeah. it is the most brilliant train. And Oslo, fabulous, by the way, mm. and Bergen. And you can fly in and out. But, um, but listen, that's a great one to do. During the summer, probably more so Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's a different it's a different experience. If you like snow in the winter you can do it as well. I think it'd be nice but yeah. you can go up and back, but I actually think it's nice to go up and back and then you can fly for about fifty quid back to Oslo. Oh can you yeah. really? Yeah. That's so it's very, very good. Cheap. No, finally but amazing. Ed. Now, You're listen, nervous. coming closer to home, yeah. Michael Palin said that this was one of the nicest train journeys that he had ever done in his life. Derry to Coleraine. And it is really it's only about forty five minutes, but you go through the most amazing um, scenery because you're you're hugging the coast here, right? Now this is all the Game of Thrones stuff that you saw ah, from the Dothraki okay. grasslands, Binevena. But you're talking about the beautiful ballerina, which they, they have a gorgeous little old train there as well. And you go to Castle Rock. Now they blasted in 1875. They blasted. They used 3,600 pounds of dynamite and, and to, to blast this tunnel, right? It was called the famous event at the time, and this train was a big deal. And it's actually fab. It's only 17 pounds, by the way, right? Oh, to go from Derry minutes. to Coleraine. Yeah. And it's minutes. it's stunning. But you can go all the way on to Belfast. Oh, to Belfast so if you want. And you can go all the way down. To, you can keep going all the way to Cork yeah. if you want on the okay. train. But okay. it's Ed, really that's good. That's great. Thanks for yeah. yeah. Great. Very, but very nice good. one, like it's to do. Really, it's good really enough nice for Michael Palin. Well, it's good enough for Michael You know what? You've said it there now. Thanks a million times. We'll see you soon. And I think we're going to take a look next week at some long haul trips for 2020.